So today is this day and it marks the 10 year anniversary of my ever, ever, ever first French album, the CD, which came out in 2008. Since it's the anniversary day, I feel like it's story time. So what's happening here is this. It was around 2008. I had just been accepted into university to study English literature and out of the force of my father, I started learning French at some institute. Um, I remember the first few sessions, I was completely lost. I was completely confounded at what the heck I'm doing there. So what happened was I started caring less and less about the course so much. So in fact, the first few courses, the first few semesters, I barely passed. I barely, I nearly failed. And all the professors and all the institute people were like, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure this is the best path for you linguistically? And since I'm not really a fan of giving up, I said, you know what? Yeah, but they didn't know that this was a force from my father. Uh, I remember one of the first, one of the earlier sessions, a professor asked each and every one of us in the class the reason, the, the purpose of why we were there, why we were learning French. And almost everyone, without an exception, without missing a beat, they were either studying French in university, they were planning on migration to a French-speaking country, but me. I told them that I want to write one French song. And everybody laughed at me, because at that time I wasn't even sure how to spell my name in French if it's spelled differently. By the way, it does. So what happened was that whenever somebody whenever I have a challenge and somebody tells me or laughs at me or says you can do this I kind of go into overdrive to prove them wrong it might be a personality thing I don't know exactly a year later this day March 26 2018 I invited them to my concert and the unveiling of this album it's translation is with the angels and while in by today's standards it might not be the best sounding anything for me it's a testament and it's a proof of concept of will that even if people laugh at you you can still do what whatever you please and well i did and maybe in a, in a different video i talk about the songs the eight plus one songs that are in the CD but for now all I want to tell you the moral I guess of the story is that giving up is really easy but not giving up is more fun and if you think you can't do something remember this CD comes from a person who wasn't able to speak French for the first for three, three, four months. It took me a year to really get into my shell and the reason was to prove those who laughed at me wrong. I did. It was fun. So, I guess that's it. By the way, um, if you're still watching this, thank you. There's a link in the description box below that um, redirects you to my SoundCloud page as a gift of, as a thank you, I guess. Um, I'm releasing this album free, free of charge for everyone, forever, and if you listen to it, please let me know what you think about this, because I'm curious. The, the lyrics, the everything in it might not, might not be really um, interesting for a lot of you, especially since they're French, but for me, what, what this CD is, is that you can, if I can do this, you can too. Mm, hopefully you enjoyed this one. There's gonna be a lot of these videos coming up, hopefully, and I don't know, I like telling stories. It's kind of a therapy for me. I like sharing my stories with you. Maybe you find something in it that you haven't found, or maybe you maybe you find something in it that 
you didn't know you were looking for. Just as I did with writing French songs. When I started French, I was I, not, I wasn't really in, in in any kind of passionate relationship with this language, with these songs. But now, I have a lot more in terms of what music and French music storytelling is all about. Thank you for watching, and I will see you very very soon. I promise. For now.